You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have uh, a regular guest who's on Greater Brockton, Jeff Miller from Signature Healthcare. Hi, Mark. Nice How to are you? See you today. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Well, May's just around the corner. Hopefully, spring Hopefully. will be here. But we have the annual Signature Healthcare Foundation Champions Fighting Cancer Walk. Which number? I forget. 19. Wow. 19 years. And we've been there for all of them. You We're, have been. You guys have been great. Well, it's a wonderful event. There are so many people that are affected by cancer, so many family members. Um, it's not just the person that gets afflicted right. with the cancer. It's the whole family and friends and everything like that. And what they all do is they all um, get together and do this walk. Yeah, it's all about it's all about honoring people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about honoring family members and friends who have battled cancer, and the families get together and friends get together and they they participate in this four and a half mile walk from from uh, Brockton High School down to Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital, and there's a celebration at the end and uh, people really really enjoy being together with the family and friends to celebrate and honor their loved ones. It's a it's a nice event. And it all started with Mr. Sullivan from Sullivan yeah, Tire, yeah. correct? Bob Sullivan, Sullivan Tire lost his wife uh, uh, to Christine to uh, breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, been, he's been on the board of Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital for, right. for many years. And he, uh, he approached the president at the time and said, you know, we need to do something here to help, help families. He said, because when my wife was, was being treated for cancer, there were a lot of people around her who had a lot of needs that weren't being met. And he wanted to do this walk to start raising money to help, help people who were battling cancer in this area receive services that would help them in their battle. And that money goes for things like transportation and supplemental services that yeah. are covered by insurance. But now you got even more. You have a cancer center. We at do. Signature now. We Talk do. about that a little too. So we're actually ending the walk this year at a brand new cancer center the John Stephen and Carol Green Cancer Center, named after the Green family, who are the owners of W.B. Mason. And, mm -hmm. uh, they're just great, great people, and, and they've, uh, they've put their name on, on the center because of, their, because of their generosity. But where uh, cancer, cancer care in this area, the, the growth has been unbelievable. So back in uh, 2016, in May, we opened we opened a service inside the hospital where we began providing chemotherapy to our patients that we had never offered before. We brought in uh, a, a, a physician who was uh, very skilled, Dr. Rolf Rader, to open the center. So in our, in our first year of service in that center, just comparatively speaking, from, from October of 2016 to January of 2017, we had 3,800 patient visits in that, in that new center. This year, comparatively, since we opened the center from October of 2017 to January of 2018, we've had 5,600 patient visits in, mm -hmm. in the center. 1,800 difference in, wow. in a year. The center is incredible. Um, there's medical and radiation oncology on the, same, on the same floor. People can come in. It's a very state-of-the-art center, very bright. And had a chance to speak to one of uh, one of our patients a couple of days ago because I'm doing a, a little little story on on uh, the cancer center so our donors can understand what difference their donation is making in the lives of our, the, their donations are making in the lives of our patients, and they couldn't speak highly enough about the services that they received, but also about the staff in the center. It's a beautiful center, bright cheerful but the staff in there is uh, from the front desk to you know to the physicians are, are incredible and it is so much easier for people to from Brockton proper and the surrounding communities right. that signature serves to not go all the way to that's Boston right. to deal that's with right. the, the 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 stuff here because it's Boston has great hospitals don't get me wrong they do but parking in Boston and driving yeah. to Boston is a nightmare all of it. It's, yeah. it's, 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 uh, it might be as much of an ordeal as the is a right. treatment. Yeah, so, that, so our capital campaign that we're, we're still in the midst of for this cancer center is called Bringing Boston to Brockton. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate enough to have the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center 
as our affiliate in this. So basically the doctors who work in our Center for Medical Oncology uh, are on staff at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and they're part of the Harvard Medical fac Faculty. So we got Boston's best coming here to, to Brockton to see our patients and you're right, it's a, it makes a big difference for families from this area who don't, first of all, a lot of them don't have the financial support, but they don't have the family support. Fighting cancer is a team, it's a team sport, you mm -hmm. know, it's a team effort. And it, it's very difficult for patients to even get somebody to give them a ride into, into Boston. Sure. And now people can even stay, stay and work if they can because now they're getting treated locally, they can get their treatment in the morning, they can still be in work, you know, for different hours of the day if they're able to physically. Right. It makes a big difference for them. Back to the walk. Yes. Um, anything new and different? You, you said four and a half mile walk, but people can people join the walk in progress? If I remember right, isn't there a second? Yeah, isn't there's, there like a, a, there's city a spot hall? at City Hall okay. that, that people who can't go four and a half miles and they still want to participate. I think it's about a mile and a half from okay. City Hall to the to the hospital. But yeah, the new thing is we'll be ending the walk. We'll have a tent outside of the new cancer center. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing tours of the okay. cancer center. We'll have our health fair as we always do. It, it'll be inside the cancer center this year. Uh, we'll have a band and, and games for the kids like we always do. And but a cookout. Really and a cookout, yeah. You always have a yeah. cookout. Are you, are you wearing the signature hat that you... I'm wearing one of, one of the hats, yeah. Okay. yeah I'm going to wear one of my, uh, one of my hats. Yeah. No pun intended when I said <laughs> signature. Um, now, people can sign up. You have online. There's all sorts of... How would yeah. you do that? So people can sign up by going to www.championsfightingcancerwalk.org. Or they can call Darlene Sereber in the foundation office at 508 Nine four one seven one seven nine. That's nine four one seven one seven nine. Darlene's done a great job for us for several years at coordinating this event. She puts her heart and soul into it, and the people will have a, a really nice time. Well, we couldn't think of a better way to showcase it and and help you publicize it because you guys do good things over there. You, you've Thank helped you. a lot of people. Um, I haven't had my tour yet. I, I saw the tour on yeah. tape, and, and, and Jay Miller will be there with Aaron Tebow, and we'll, you know, 19. That's so next year is the big 20. That's right. That's, That's amazing. Right. Um, yeah. So um, before the 20th, you need to come in and see the center, okay? okay? <laughs> and, you know, I wish I, it was a, a, an option for me. I lost my dad uh, September 11th to cancer. Yeah, and sorry to hear that. We yeah. were across town at the other place. Uh, we. I wanted Boston, but Dad mm -hmm. didn't want Boston, yep. and it would have been nice to have more than one choice right. and more right. than one provider. Right. Um, always good to have um, multiple, and, and and you guys are still you're a, you're a nonprofit organization. We are okay. We so are. when you're doing donations, donations are tax deductible. That's correct. So that's a that's, that's a plus. Yep. People think about that. You know, when you sit down and do the 1040, yeah. not the EZ, you want your charitable yeah. donations and. What better way to remember a loved one or That's a right. friend? I I had a best friend and it was 11 years yesterday. Who I, he was diabetic. The whole different story wasn't yeah. cancer, but you never stop thinking about them. No, you and don't. And they were no. a big part of your lives, no. and you don't want people to suffer. But there's a lot of success stories. That you know, not everyone dies right. with a cancer diagnosis. That's right. And and today today it's getting more and more prevalent that people are people are surviving and living longer because of the different treatments that they have and um, if you you know if you'd hear Dr. Freider talk he, he'll say you know a breast cancer is not a breast cancer is not a breast cancer because there's so many different ways to to treat people depending on their makeup and now with all the the gene therapy that they're doing and the DNA therapy and the different uh, scientific things that they've added this immunology field it's amazing what they're, what they're we're doing. We're going to bring him back, and we're going to talk to him for a half an hour. That would be great. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.